What's good, y'all? We back at it again. This is SM, your homeboy and friend. Today, we're going to be talking about the different kinds of music royalties out there, the different ways you can make money on your music by distributing them and collecting royalties in different ways. Now, there's a few different ways that you can make royalties on your music, not just through a distribution company, not just through it any way that you think like that. There's so many different ways you can make money with music, it's crazy. That's why there's so many people trying to do it. So if you want to make money with your music, stay tuned for this video. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about music royalties and how you can get your music out there and the different kinds of, of royalties. So this simple spreadsheet shows you basically what and how to get your money, where you can get your money, and the different types of ways you can make money off of music. And trust me, each one of these has a price tag, but also they they do their own special little uh, way to get you the money. There's also different ways to get money also because some of these aren't in here, I can see. So as an artist, you create you create your song, your composition, you write it, and you send it through a distributor like DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby, Ditto, Reverb Nation, and this is where this middle part comes in, the royalties from the mechanical distribution, okay? Now, this is only one area where you're getting paid for on those digital distribution sites for your music. You need to understand that there's five different ways that you can get paid. One is neighboring rights organizations. This would be like TV, radio, bars, etc. And then the rest of the world, not just the United States. You need to understand that. Then there's digital radio in the US. So if you ever get played on the radio, you're gonna wanna sign up with Sound Exchange in the USA. Sound Exchange. Remember that you're gonna wanna sign up for that. Because if you get played on the radio, anywhere you get played on the radio, your money's coming in. Now, a digital distribution company or a record label is going to distribute your music to Spotify, Apple, YouTube, Pandora, Amazon, Shazam, all those other things. A distributor is only collecting money from those things, from those places. This is not collecting money Unless you're with TuneCore, they will not collect your songwriting royalties. They will not collect your publishing royalties. They are just collecting simply the royalties you make from every stream you get on these sites. Now, the next one will be to be sync licensing. Sync licensing is basically if I get my song in a movie, if I get my song in a television commercial, if I get my song in a game, you know what I'm saying? Every time someone streams that game or buys that game, bro, I'm supposed to get a percentage off of that game. And trust me, sync licensing is not easy to do, but it is if you know the right people. Sync licensing can make you a lot, a lot of money if you know how to do it right. And then you got union commercials, which is TV commercials, SAG, AFTRA, okay? These are five different ways to make money. 
five different artist royalties that you can get. But what they're not saying in these five different distribution royalties and mechanical and all that stuff, they're not talking about the, the ways you make them. So we're going to go more in depth into this, okay? And we're going to go to what is mechanical royalties. So it says one of the most important revenue streams for the successful songwriter comes from mechanical royalties. Basically, each, each time a consumer purchases a sound recording, publishers receive a mechanical royalty payment, which is then passed on to the songwriter. So mechanical royalties, you are going to get from your distributor, from every stream, from every person that downloads your song, from uh, TuneCore, DistroKid, Reverb Nation, wherever your stuff is streamed, wherever you distribute your music, they're going to collect that money from there. Now, I showed you five different ways, and it's going to get kind of kind of complicated, but... Like I said, there's so many ways you can make money off of music, it's nuts. Now, this is just mechanical royalties, and I showed you before, this is just a part of the mechanical royalties, okay? That part right there is just the number one mechanical royalties. This is what you guys think you guys need in order to make money, but... There's a lot of people that make money elsewhere. Now, we're going to talk about We're going to talk about performance royalties. All right, guys. And the vice versa of mechanical royalties. Mechanical royalties are paid to you by a digital distributor or your record label. And they're paying you for streams. Okay. Paying you for streams or views. They're paying you for downloads. And that's all they're paying you for. Now, performance royalties are when you perform your music publicly that can be over the radio can be in a restaurant in a bar over service like spotify and pandora you understand what i'm saying so so you're not just gonna get paid one time you, you got the digital distribution company. They're going to go collect that money from DistroKid, TuneCore, whatever. Then you got the performance royalties, and that's what you want to look at right now. And these are like BMI, ASCAP. Uh, they, they are P-R-O, Pro Rights Organizations. If you ever go into YouTube and you search someone's name and they're a big artist, you'll see, let's go in here and we'll find one real quick. We'll find one real quick. Let's go to, let's go to my, my channel for instance, and we'll go to one of my, one of my videos. And we'll go to, I, I believe it's this one. So if you haven't checked me out, go ahead and check me out. I forgot music, as you can see. 
but you're gonna look down here so most artists you can click on any artist and you can see where they publish their music how they copyright their music all that stuff now look check this out if you scroll down in the description you can see music in this video learn more listen ad for youtube it'll say the song which is follow it'll say the artist which is me sick minded and it'll say license to youtube by tunecore on behalf of all for god llc and song trust now it should say bmi and other rights organizations but it doesn't at this moment but if we go and look at another one you can see like let's see who you guys like right now let's go king vaughn you know what i'm saying let's let's go look at one of his songs and let's see how he let's see how he does his stuff. Let's go. Maybe he doesn't do it right. Maybe he does, but I'm pretty sure he does. Okay, see. You're gonna see the administration, music rights, empire, empire entertainment, pure music, Amra. Latin author, create music publishing, BMI, broadcast music game, Nirvana, digital distribution. Like this dude's got, he knows what he's doing, bro. So you got to think all these companies right here are collecting money for him, <laughs> which the more you have, the more money you're going to get. But all these, all these come with a price tag. So yeah, you're gonna wanna go and, and register your music with all these all these companies wherever your music is played. But uh that's that's the the copyright side of things. And uh this video is basically about different royalties you can make. So there's mechanical royalties, performance royalties. And then there's also like, you can get copyright. Uh, there's so many different ways you can make money. You're gonna wanna look up your pro, pro organization, the one that best fits you. I am personally BMI. Uh, there's there's different types. ASCAP, CSAC. I believe CSAC, you have to actually be invited. Like, those are for more bigger artists. Uh, ASCAP, they charge a different rate. I went with BMI just because... Well, I like the name. I liked everything they offered and at the time when i signed up because of covid and everything bro like this was like eight months ago when covid like really just started it was free to sign up and usually it's like 150 dollars so i lucked out and now i'm gonna get paid from them all, all like my whole life as long as i keep going with them you know what i'm saying and i don't think you can switch after after it's all said and done uh, once you have one, I think you're stuck. So make sure you... Make sure you... Well, I don't believe you're stuck. You can probably get out of it. You can you can work your way out of it. But pretty much, once you distribute your music through these companies, then... Then, uh... Then they're going to be registered with that company for a long time. So once again, guys... If you want to check out the different ways to distribute your music, you can. My thing would be to, I love TuneCore distribution because they give you the publishing and they 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 collect all the song publishing, which, which Digital Kid does not do. They collect the publishing, so you don't have to worry about the publishing. They connect with your, with your, PRO, your pro rights organization, and they collect 
all them royalties also. So you're not having to worry about going to all these other different sites to collect your money. Now, I use TuneCore, SongTrust, SoundExchange, and uh, that's what I use to make money so far. BMI. But all right, guys, this has been a video on the artist royalties, the mechanical royalties. And, and if you like this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Make sure you connect with me. Drop a comment on the next kind of videos you want me to do. Uh, and keep hustling. Keep doing what you're doing. Like I said, man, what you create today can be impacting the future in a positive or negative way. You need to understand your different kind of royalties and the ways you can make money. Sound exchange to properly copyright your music so you can get paid all the way around. People think they're getting paid from other countries when people are listening to your music in other countries and they're not paying you for it. So you need to understand that. And you need to go get that money because you probably have your money just sitting there waiting for you. You understand what I'm saying? So get with me and I, I get with you, man. You've been rocking with me and I've been rocking with you. And I hope that you guys found something intelligent out of this video. Uh, Once again, I want to emphasize that there's multiple ways you can make money doing music, not just on the back end of things, on the computer side of things. You can make money doing music by selling merchandise, having a business, uh, doing shows. You can, like, basically, if you have a fan base, you can make money at anything. The key word, fan base. If you have a fan base, Trust me, you can make money. That's all it is. If you have money to invest, you're going to make money. But you got to have money to, to make money, bro. There's no other way around it. If you don't know how to make money, there's ways that you can make money. Well, there, there, we can go on this for days, but these are five different ways on how to get your money. Think licensing, distribution company or record label, sound exchange, neighboring rights organization, SAG and AFTRA. Okay? Keep it popping, keep it player. And remember, smash that like button, subscribe. A lot more videos coming. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, hit me up, send me beats. Let me know if you want to work. Peace.